Good morning. Today we'll be doing the liturgy of the hours morning prayer for Thursday, November 10th. Today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Leo the Great, a Pope and a doctor of our church. Let's have that moment of silence before our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. At daybreak, be merciful to me, O Lord. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful. You are just. Give answer. Do not call your servants to judgment. For no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness, like the dead long forgotten. Therefore my spirit fails, my heart is now within me. I remember the days that are past, I ponder all your works. I muse on what your hands have wrought, and to you I stretch out my hands. Like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Lord, Make haste and answer, for my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I may come like those in the grave. In the morning, let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk, to you I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, now and, and will forever. be forever. forever. Amen. At daybreak, be, be merciful to me, O Lord. God. The Lord will make a river of peace flow through Jerusalem. Rejoice, Rejoice with Jerusalem and be, and be glad because, because of her. All you who love her, exalt, exalt with her. All you who mourn over, over her. Oh, that you may suck fully of the, the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight 
at her abundant breast. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nursing, you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her son, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem, you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bodies flourish like the grass. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord will make a river of peace flow through Jerusalem. Let us joyfully praise the Lord our God. Praise, praise the Lord for He is good. Sing to our God for He is loving. To Him our praise is due. The Lord build up Jerusalem and bring back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He blinds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. Oh, sing to the Lord, giving thanks. Sing psalms to our God with the harp. He covers the heaven with clouds. He prepares the rain for the earth, making mountains sprout with grass and with plants to serve man's needs. He provides the beasts with their food and young ravens that call upon him. His delight is not in horses, nor his pleasure in a warrior's strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him, in those who wait for his love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us joyfully praise the Lord our God. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Simply I learned about wisdom, and ungrudgingly do I share. Her riches I do not hide away, for to men she is an unfailing treasure. Those who gain this treasure win the friendship of God, to whom the gifts they have from discipline commend them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Good morning. In today's reading from the Book of Wisdom, we hear how important it is to attain this treasure that finds friendship with God. And it requires discipline, it says. In order to develop a good habit, it takes about six weeks of doing something daily. And so we know that many times we develop bad habits, and sometimes it's hard to break those habits. But develop a good habit takes daily discipline and so I encourage each of you to uh, develop a prayer life or a schedule of some sort where you take time to uh, sit with scripture and pray so that you can develop that discipline. One such person that had good discipline was uh, Saint Leo the Great. Today we celebrate his feast day and he was a, a pope that was challenged with uh, heresies of the time that challenged the true nature of Jesus Christ. We know that Christ was true, fully human and fully divine. And although it's a difficult concept to understand and accept, that is the reality of Jesus. And so today also in the gospel, they question Jesus. When will the kingdom of God come? And he says, the kingdom of God is here. Jesus Christ was there present in front of them. And we are the body of Christ. So the kingdom of God is here present, here and now. And we 
have a responsibility to increase that kingdom, to help it to flourish. <clears throat> and we do that by, <clears throat> by reading our scripture and developing those habits, those good habits, through a disciplinary prayer life so that we can go out and be that light of Christ to all those around us. So keep on, keep on fighting the fight and developing yourself. And remember, discipline, develop a prayer life that will change you and help you to be wise so that you can grow in friendship with God. Let the peoples proclaim the wisdom of the saints. Let, Let the, the people proclaim the wisdom of the saints. With joyful praise, let the church tell forth the wisdom of the saints. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let the peoples proclaim the wisdom of the saints. Strengthened by Christ, Blessed Peter has remained steadfast as a rock in his guidance of the church. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath to word to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Strengthened by Christ, Blessed Peter has remained steadfast as a rock in his guidance of the Church. Christ is the Good Shepherd who laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise and thank him as we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. Christ, you decided to show your merciful love through your holy shepherds. Let your mercy always reach us through them. Through your vicars, you continue to perform the ministry of shepherd of souls. Direct us always through our leaders. Through your holy ones, the leaders of your people, you serve as a physician of our bodies and our spirits. Continue to fulfill your ministry of light and holiness in us. You taught your flock through the providence and love of your saints. Grant us continual growth in holiness under the direction of our pastors. At this time, let's take a moment of silence and lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ.
Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. God our Father, you will never allow the power of hell to prevail against your church. Founded on the rock of the Apostle Peter, let the prayers of Pope Leo the Great keep us faithful to your truth and secure in your peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Thank, Thank you for, for praying with us. us. We hope you can join, join us again, again tomorrow. tomorrow. Same, same time, same place, same channel. Have, have a great day.